Welcome to Charter Local Edition. Brad Pomerantz here in the San Gabriel Valley. We're joined today by David Van Osdal. He is the superintendent of the Arcadia Unified School District. Tell us a bit about Arcadia USD. Yeah, excellent. Well, Arcadia is uh, 11 schools, six elementary schools, three middle schools, one large high school, nice. Arcadia High School. With, uh, you had been principal there, I guess? I did. I came out right. from the Midwest in 2005 to take that position. Right. And, uh, big life change, but uh, worth every minute of it and just stayed. So, Tell us a bit about the student body, the students for our show air statewide. Yeah. So we kind of have heard of Arcadia, mm -hmm. but tell us about the region and then specifically the city. Sure. Well, it's nestled up against the, the um, San Gabriel Mountains. Right, it's beautiful. Uh, we like to refer to it as a destination district because nice. um, truly parents seek us out for the education, for the quality of the education. Right. You move to Arcadia. Correct. Right. No one just shows up and says, what's, right. what's the local school district? Mm -hmm. So uh, so that's a big benefit to the schools because clearly we have parents that um, value education and are looking for a very for top-notch public education. So we're very diverse. Um, Truly? But, uh, seven, we're about 70% Asian. Uh, oh, okay. Used to be a lot from Taiwan, and now okay. we're getting a lot of mainland China uh, students that are coming mostly for high school. Um, so we'll get a big influx of students right from, uh, from eighth, between eighth and ninth grade. Okay. What about economic diversity? We do have diversity. Uh, most people don't realize that. They hear a lot. We're often in the news for the mansionization. Right, right. And that's been a big sore spot. A um, lot of homes that are purchased and bulldozed. Right. And, um, but, uh, you know, we do have also large sections of apartments, and um, which, you know, I remind parents that uh, it is a sacrifice, but uh, there is uh, right. places for people to live of all economic levels to uh, go to Arcadia School. So I have a seventh grader okay. and a ninth grader. Unfortunately, not at Arcadia Unified. We live elsewhere. I wish they could go to your fine school district, but we don't live around that community. And I am forever tormented by social media and the appropriate use of social media by my two daughters. I learned that Arcadia Unified is taking a inspired approach to social media. Instead of running from it, you're embracing it. Tell me before we talk about what Arcadia Unified is doing, when you decided to be a forerunner in the use of social media, what was the uh, response? <laughs> that response is, is right. normal and right. what we get from people, and that is that uh, there's a lot of fear involved, right. especially from our generation, that we're not sure how it's used, why is it used, what's gonna be used against me of that course. I put on social media. So for us, the, the journey really started with professional development. And I, I have to kind of take you please, back. Please, please do. If you walked into a school district and we said we were doing professional development five years ago, it would be an isolated day where we right. have all the staff showing up on one day, K-12, and an expert consultant would be coming in, doing their piece of for course. a day, and then the next day everyone goes right. back. The research has been clear, and it's been around for many years, and, and the research demonstrates that, A, it needs to be, have choice. And I say professional development, I'm talking about adult learning in general. But I got there it. needs to be a component of choice. There needs to be a component of sustainability. So you're revisiting that component over time, and it needs to be collaborative. Hmm. So we started the journey by tackling that and changing the way professional development looks. And, and by that, we designed days where teachers could choose groups of um, of professional development to be a part of, small working groups, they're vertical groups. Right. So you could be a high school physics teacher sitting next to a kindergarten nice. teacher talking about science curriculum. Nice. It's very exciting. And they stayed in those groups all year. But the piece that we couldn't change was the time because we're, we're stuck to the structure of, of school day, of let course. the kids out, right? The minimum days that, that parents hate because they, their kids are out early right. and we all deal with that. Social media solved that for us, and, and, and when we touched on it the first time, it was like almost kind of touching magic and going, wow, this, is this fascinating. could be really powerful. But in order for social media to solve time constraints, that meant that all of your staff needed to be on social media. And guess what? A lot are. They are. Because the superintendent is, yes. that's you. Um, all of your school board trustees, all of your principals and over 200 teachers are on social media at Arcadia Unified. It's amazing. It is, it is. And we give up a lot of control and that's scary. Mm, that scares yeah. people. 
um, I'm, I'm beginning to learn to I live with it, it and to accept it. it. But here's what changed it for me. Here was the game changer. Please. My wife's an educator. Okay. What is she? Is she a teacher? She, she's a teacher. Right. I watched her come home at night and log on to these tweet chats, they call them. And right. they're basically a set time where teachers go on on a specific topic mm -hmm. and a teacher moderates it. Now, these are teachers on their own time, not being told by an administrator, not being paid, and they're just, there's thousands of them going on these sites and they're excited, they get passionate, they, they, they talk about how it cuts through all the small talk of what's going, you know, they, they're really directed learning on a specific topic that they're gonna turn around and use the next day in class. I'd never seen anything like that. I mean, usually teachers don't of talk course. about like, no, you know, course. professional development like that. Of it's course. like, oh, we have to go to PD. Right. So I recognized that there was something very powerful there. It was scary. It required giving up some control because, I, you know, now, now they're in charge of it, not me. And it's public. And it's very it's public. extremely public. Yes. I mean, one can try to delete a tweet, but yeah. once it's out, it's out. But to me, the brilliance behind your philosophy around social media is you are through your actions teaching positive social media citizenship yes it's about responsibility right. this, this is their world both the students and the staff and and i'll tell you something that was really surprising for me is i assumed that this new batch of young teachers that we just hired right. would come in and really help out because clearly they've been raised right. in this world they're right. very comfortable we have not all, right so they come in the first day I ask the question, who's on you know, Twitter, who has a Facebook? No. No. Well, because the feeling is, if I'm a teacher, I don't want my students to yes. see me on Facebook. Exactly. They've been told by their college professors, right. which again, are our age, a little fearful. Little, they've been telling them, don't do it. it it'll get you fired. Your future employers are going to be watching. What we're trying to retrain them and tell them is, no. That's not it. You need to be on it. You just need to learn and be very right. conscious I mean, about look, how you use it. I mean, look, in a lot of ways, it humanizes yeah. the, the teacher. Um, the head of my daughter's uh, middle school uses Twitter frequently. I follow him. I appreciate yeah. it. Yes. Uh, we retweet each other, and it's yeah. a very exciting moment yeah. when I get retweeted you a, don't you feel by him. Specific, well, and especially by him. I mean, more than some elected official, yeah. you yeah. know, that may retweet me. That's on my ballywick. Yeah. But when I see that interaction with my child's school, I realize that, okay, that we're having a conversation. Yeah. We're having a conversation. My question, though, also, are the students following the 200 plus teachers, the superintendent, yes. the principal, the school board members? They are. Okay. You would be shocked how many, most of my retweets right. are from students. Really? Yeah, mostly high school students, but That's I have okay. some middle school students and obviously a lot of parents that are what following. What are your colleagues at <laughs> Pasadena Unified and Glendale yeah. Unified and who knows Unified saying to you? Yeah. They think I'm crazy. Yeah, they do. They I do. believe you. I they'll believe they'll you. get there. Right. It really is. It's about, uh, you know, it's just like the classroom has changed. Right. Where it used to be that the teacher held all the knowledge and I'm gonna impart what of I know course. to you. It was a one-way direction. That's not teaching and learning anymore. Mm -hmm. We're now facilitating because the kids can find anything that you know on, on no, Google. You're right, you're so right. it's really about the connections, the relevance of what they're, they're learning, and that's what Twitter does because I can share something and someone else can pick it up from the other side of the country or the Truly. world and add to it, you know, take it to the next level. All I have to say is congratulations. Tremendous <laughs> innovation, you. and I hope that you're able to speak with your colleagues about yeah. embracing social media yeah. instead of fearing it, because like yeah. you said, it's the future. Well, you know, most, a lot of districts will take a, a long list mm -hmm. of, of uh, requirements for Twitter right. and Facebook. All we say is real simple. If it's good for kids and it's legal, do it. His name is David Van Osdall. He is the superintendent at Arcadia Unified. I'm Brad Pomeranz, Charter Local Edition.